but I do think uh, we should say a few things about our honored guest this evening. And I have always felt a special kinship with Pete Rosell even before I met him, because he started out as a college sports information director, and I served a tour in the college sports information department at Columbia University. Pete was at the University of San Francisco, which in 1951 had probably one of the best college football teams in the country. And it's a fairly well-kept secret, Pete. I'm not sure why that is, but Ollie Matson, Bob St. Clair, and a whole bunch of other really good players are on that team. But in any case, um, I think that uh, he certainly uh, built on that and went on to do things in New York that affected the whole sports picture in the United States. Obviously, uh, we all know that he spent nearly 30 years as the commissioner of the National Football League, and the NFL, as we now know it, is a monument to Pete Rozelle. And if you thought this year's Super Bowl was exciting, here's the man you have to thank for it, the Founders Award winner this year, Pete Rozelle. I first started hearing about the New York sports scene from a classmate of mine at Compton High School. He went on from Compton High School and joined the Brooklyn Dodgers. His name was Duke Snyder. I think that uh, Vin Scully, of course, saw a number of Duke's games for the Dodgers, and Dave Anderson must have covered, covered some of them for the Brooklyn Eagle. But uh, Duke was really struck. He was a general sports fan, as I was, and uh, he was struck with the menu of top sports here in New York. And he would write to me, I'd talk to him in the offseason, and he'd tell me all about New York City. Well, I realized how competitive New York City must be in the sports and entertainment field when I realized uh, some years ago when Duke was uh, inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, that here he was inducted to the Hall of Fame, a great baseball center fielder with the Brooklyn Dodgers, and yet with Mickey Mantle at the Yankees and Willie Mays with the Giants, he couldn't make all city center fielder. But uh, it was very, very competitive. When I got here, uh, I absorbed all sports. During the 30 years uh, I was back here, I uh, saw the uh, Giant and Jet Super Bowl champions, the Yankees World Series champions, Met World Series champions, uh, the Knicks NBA champions, uh, the great uh, open tennis tournaments that Billy Talbert put on, Forest Hills, and then the stadium, and uh, the college basketball, the NIT, all of it. And it was a great, great thrill for me, and I'm delighted to see uh, this organization attempting to d develop a sports museum here in New York and a Hall of Fame. If any city in the country that should have it, it should be right here. I'm delighted to accept this honor, and I'm deeply honored, and I accept it on behalf of the class organization for which I serve, the National Football League. Thank you. 